My name's Gemma. Welcome to my chair Pilates class. Um, I'm, I hope you're well and you're ready to get moving. So first things first, for this you're going to need a chair, ideally with no sides, because we're going to do a little bit of work moving in all planes of direction, all planes of movement, sorry. So I want you to be able to freely move your hands to the side and it's a little bit hard if you've got um, arm rests. So the next thing is checking out where you are in space. If your chair is quite high and you're not able to get a nice 90 degree angle between your feet, or sorry, between your, if you're not able to get a nice 90 degree angle between your thigh and your calf, you might want to have some books underneath your feet to raise your feet up a little bit or find a chair that's a little bit lower. Okay, so first things first, I want you to find your sit bones underneath your bum. Okay, so just walk side to side. Make sure that you're not collapsed into the chair because that doesn't help us. We want to be slightly forward than the back of the chair. So, I want you to walk those sit bones forward and I want you to find equal weight on either side. Imagine that there's um, a weighing scale underneath each bony prominence. And then I just want you to walk, have your weight go side to side and just find that kind of equal distribution of weight in underneath your bum, okay? Make sure that your shoulders are rolled back and down, okay? And your chin is tucked in just a little bit, okay? You don't wanna be here. We wanna lift ourselves up and out of our pelvis, okay? So, we'll start on a little bit of setup. So, I want you to make sure that your pubic bone is going down into the chair. So, tilt your pubic bone up towards your nose and then tilt it in underneath you. Okay, so we're just gonna rock forward and back here. And you don't wanna over arch your low back and create this kind of pushed out belly, but you don't want to create a C curve either. Okay, so we're just gonna find that little middle ground in between those two. And what I want you to find is just a little bit of comfort in this position, okay? Your, feet, your knees are gonna be in line with your toes, okay? So there's a line that goes from your toes all the way up to the middle of your patella or your kneecap. And your hip bones, or your hip joint is in line with your knees too. So there's a little bit of a gap in between your knees. Okay, from here, I want you to push your shoulders back and down. What about that chin? Take it in a little bit, okay? You don't want to be sitting out here, okay? You might feel uncomfortable. You might feel that you've given yourself a few extra chins, but we want to make sure that we're setting up as tall as we can. Okay. It's easy to be here, especially if you've been sitting on the couch a lot or at a desk. So we're just going to bring ourselves up. The next thing that we're going to focus on is our pelvic floor. I'm going to refer to the pelvic elevator in this one. So imagine that the basement of your pelvis is sitting on the chair. Okay. So you just want to make sure that when you're engaging your pelvic floor, think about a lift going up to the second floor. Okay, so you want to feel that engagement. So your pelvic floor is sitting like this, and then you start to raise it up just a little bit. Okay, so it's just a mild connection. The belly should start to lift up and in. Okay, from here, we're going to take our attention to our ribs and our breathing. So I want you to 
Take your hands to your low ribs and breathe wide. Okay, so I want you to think about breathing into your hands. You can have your hands here or here. Just make sure that your hands aren't on your hips. That's not where your lungs are. You wanna have them up here. So if you can think about where your bra strap is or would be if you're wearing one, and you just wanna have your hands here. So breathe wide into your ribs and just let it go. As you breathe out, you're gonna feel your hands getting a little bit closer together. Breathe in, breathe out. Just take this little opportunity to get more acquainted with your breath. Through the circumstances of the moment, we probably haven't had enough time to breathe. So take this opportunity to do so now. Just a few more. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little bit of movement, okay? From here, we're gonna take our attention to the side, to the middle, to the other side, and middle, side, middle, side, middle. That's it. We're just gonna keep going with this little neck rotation here. Doesn't have to be very fast. Okay, we're gonna finish that off either side, middle and side. Okay, bring your attention back to the middle. Drop your chin to your chest. And then I want you to roll your head to the side. And back to the chest and to the other shoulder. So drop the chin, roll it down and lift to the other side. As you see in the side, I haven't let this movement let my body get lazy. I'm just keeping my good posture while I'm mobilizing through the neck. Lift your chin up, take your focus to the center again. Okay, from here, we're gonna look up and look down. So I want you to lift your chin back to the center and down to the floor. Lift your eyes to the center and up to the side. Up to the sky, sorry. And down to the floor. So I want you to think about your chin moving rather than your eyes. Because if you're just moving your eyes, you're probably not moving your head. Okay, last one. Okay, and eyes back into the center. Okay, take your hands, press them onto your thighs and push down into your thighs, okay? So this is gonna give you a little bit more lift through your center. Okay, you might find that you've even grown taller, head going to the ceiling a little bit more. Okay, so we want to push in and we want to create that feeling of lift throughout this movement, this next movement. So our right hand is going to push into our thigh and our left hand is going to reach up to the ceiling. Okay, from here, you don't want to see your shoulder going up towards your neck or your ear and then we're going to bring it back down. Pressing that left hand into the thigh, we're going to lift up, reach up to the ceiling, and back down. We're going to do one more each side. Don't forget to press, lift up through your center, and reach towards the sky. Back down, push into the thigh, and lift. Don't let the shoulder creep up towards your ear. We're not trying to get the attention of a teacher. Okay, so roll your shoulders back and down, okay? From here, we're gonna add on to that movement. So right hand, or sorry, left hand presses down. Right hand lifts. Okay, and reach up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna bend over to the side. So this is a lift and a reach, okay? So I don't want you to collapse down into your side here. 
Okay, hand goes back down to the thigh and we lift and then we reach and back down to the thigh and arm goes up to the ceiling and we reach over that's it and hand goes up and over that's it Finish this off one more each side. Keep breathing. Okay. And roll your shoulders out. From here, we're gonna bring our arms on, stacking the arms on top of one another, our forearms on top of one another. Okay, from here, we're a bit like a genie. Okay, I want you to focus on a freckle or a hair on your top arm. Okay, keeping your hips nice and steady. Okay, we're not going to move them anywhere. Make sure, almost as if you're trying to press into your thighs, that same sensation. So we're just going to lift ourselves up out of our pelvis a little bit more. Okay, and then from here, inhale, exhale, and we're going to twist to the side and back to the middle. Over to the other side and back to the middle. Now, I want you to, although your gaze is on your arms, I want you to send your concentration to your pelvis. Don't let it move. Press your feet down into the floor. side we're just getting a little bit more mobility into our spine and then from here we're back to the center just drop your arms roll your shoulders out okay from here we're going to take our arm up and over reach down your back and gently pull on your elbow okay and release from here reach up and over down your back a little gentle pull on your elbow if you can't get this one that's okay we'll do another one in a second and release it okay from here roll the shoulders bring yourself up and out of your pelvis arm goes across your chest and just a gentle little pull on your arm and other side gentle pull on the arm make sure that you're holding the arm at the kind of middle part and not at the joint okay so we're going to do a little bit more work here on the head and neck kind of area so i want you to bring your arms up and over and make sure that your hands are behind your head and not down at your neck so you want them to be a little bit higher. See where my bun is? That's the kind of area that you want to be at, okay? I'm going to put my hands underneath my bun. Okay, and from here, bring your elbows in tight beside your head. From here, I want you to open out wide, keeping the elbows in your peripheral vision. Okay, and then from here, press your head into your hands. Okay, and close the elbows in together and open out, press your head back, that's it, elbows in tight and open out wide, give them a little press back, this is just going to open out the chest and if you want you can make that a little bit more dynamic so you can curl your spine in and then open out into a little bit of extension, curl in and open out, curl, open and curl, bringing your pubic bone towards your nose and open out, lifting your chest towards the ceiling, make it a little bit bigger this time. Okay, and la 
last one. We're gonna bring ourselves down and then open out wide. Okay, bring your hands down by your side. Okay, from here, we're gonna start focusing on our low body, okay? So we're gonna get a little bit of mobility through our ankles, okay? From here, I want you to raise your heel off the floor and then replace it back down in the same place. Lift up, nothing should change in your middle. Make sure that you're pressing into your thighs here to lift yourself up and the heel goes back down. Lift up and back down. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. That's it, we're just lifting and lowering our heel, trying to get a little point onto the foot. Okay. Try and point your foot like you're a ballerina. That's it. Yeah, and back down, okay? From here, I want you to lift all pa 10 pads of your toes off the floor, bringing your toes up towards your nose, and then I want you to scrunch your toes in underneath you. Lift up towards your nose, and then scrunch in beneath you. So I want you to imagine that you've got a little tissue underneath your feet. Okay, try and grip the tissue and scrunch it up in underneath your feet. And lift, making sure that you keep the feet on the ground each time. You're just trying to lift and lower. So it's almost like a hand. So you're just trying to squeeze in and then lift and spread the feet apart. Okay, so we squeeze up and lift. That's it, squeeze. And we're just gonna do two more. You might actually start to feel a little bit of cramp here. That's okay. If you're feeling anything strange, just stop and give it a little shake out, okay? From here, I want you to lift one heel off the floor. Okay? And then we're going to rotate that ankle in one direction. Okay, and this movement is coming from your ankle, okay? So the knee is staying nice and steady, but then I want you to make this a little bit bigger and draw the knee in. So both the ankle and the knee are moving, but nothing else is. You can keep your fingertips on your knee and just guide it around. That's it and replace back on the floor. Okay, from here, point the toe, heel is lifted off the floor. From here, we're just gonna get a little bit of mobility into the ankle. And then draw the knee in too. So we're just going in one direction. We'll do the other direction on the other leg. Make sure that you haven't relaxed yourself in to the back of your chair. Okay, let's do one more. And heel back down to the floor. Lift the heel up and then we'll go in the opposite direction. So the knee will move a little bit as you mobilize through that ankle, but from here we're gonna make that a little bit bigger while challenging ourselves Keep this other knee completely stable. Okay, and make it a little bit bigger and bigger if you can. That's it, and bring the heel back down onto the floor. Other way, we go in and out. That's it. Okay. And draw the knee in, make it a bit bigger, making sure this other side isn't moving. Okay, and release it back down, okay. So, we've lifted our heel, but this time what I want you to do, roll your shoulders back, press into your thighs, okay, and 
from here we're going to take our hands to the sides of our chair okay press in lift up through your spine okay feel your shoulder blades coming together as you press into the sides of your chair okay from here we're going to lift one leg up and replace it back down and lift lower lift lower lift lower that's it keep pressing into the sides of your chair and just take it into a little march okay you don't have to lift it very high if you want to keep this movement very small you can but if you want to go a little bit higher make sure that you're lifting up from your center this isn't just a random lift where you're hoiking the knee up. This comes from your center. Keep breathing. Okay. And last one. Okay, from here. Step the feet out a little bit wider. Step them in. Step them out. Step in. Out. In. It's all getting a bit basic instinct here. <laughs> so, step out and in. Okay, last one. We're going to hold it out. Okay, bring your hands to your thighs, just above the knee. Okay, from here, I want you to rotate to the side and back to the center. Rotate in the other direction, pushing into your knee and back up. Rotate, make it a little bit bigger and rotate back to the center. Rotate back to the center. Rotate back to the center. As you come back to the middle, I want you to really get yourself back into that good posture position. Last one each side. Okay, from here, roll your shoulder blades back and down. Walk your feet back into the center. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna get a little bit more dynamic. So, what I want you to do is bring your hands to your side, okay? And then I want you to raise your arms to about shoulder width or a little bit higher, okay? So we're just gonna raise up and lower. Raise up and lower. Up and lower. Keeping that connection with your core, lifting up out of your pelvis. We lift up. Okay, you ready to add on? We're lifting up and open. Center and down. Up, open, close and down. Up, open. Close and down. Make sure that you can still see your fingertips in your peripheral vision. And we open out and close. Down. Up. Open. Close and down. Let's do one last one. Okay, and down. From here, we're going to swing our arms a little bit more dynamically. Okay. And then on the count of three, I want you to lift yourself up out of the chair without using your arms, okay? So we go one, two, and three. Lifting up nice and smooth. And slip back down. If you need to put your hands on the chair, do. Okay, find the edge of your seat again, okay? And then from here, we'll swing again. One, two, and three. Lifting up, fat. Make sure that you haven't moved too far away from the chair. You might want to scoot yourself back and sit down in the chair. Okay, from here. Last one. One, two, and three. Lift up. Okay, so roll your shoulders back and down. Okay, from here. 
we're just going to lift ourselves up, okay? And I want you to give yourself a little round of applause if you made yourself or if you made it all the way through that. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Bye.